Okay, you're welcome. Actually, this session, uh, we're going to talk about something that was really maybe interesting, attractive for special ladies, not only ladies, you know, but, you know, it's really interesting, I think. Just uh, before we actually, I'm going to play video, just before watching video, I'm going to ask you a question. Now, what is your dream house or how is your dream house? Dream house. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I have many dreams, but maybe I want a uh, at like a big lock house. Yeah, of course. Uh, Japanese style lock house. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Hmm. I, I I love uh, wooden. I love wooden. A wooden so, house. Uh, a wooden house. So yeah. very good. Uh, yeah. Yes. Well, so uh, tell me, what do you think about modern style? You know, modern architecture, modern home. What do you think? Yes, a well, modern one is uh, also good. Okay, this so also good. good means we have better alternative, but this one is good <laughs> as well. I'll um, say, yeah, maybe, maybe I would say in uh, in Japan and in uh, Vietnam, we have a lot of modern style house. Yeah, so uh, maybe I, uh, it's not, uh, it's not make me, uh, it does, sorry. It doesn't make me uh say it's not special. It's not yeah. special for me. Of so uh, yes, a wooden house maybe uh make me yeah more surprise, satisfied, surprise. more pleasant. Of course, like, more pleasant. Yeah. Uh, like make me feel special. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Well, actually. It's not bad to watch a video. You may not like or may like, I don't know. But, you know, after watching, we'll talk about it. Ready? Okay. Okay, just give me a moment to share my screen. Just give me a moment. <laughs> well, okay. Now, let me share my screen. I think this one. Sorry, may I ask you one minute, just one minute, then keep going. I need to open the door. May I ask you one minute? Sure, oh, okay. Thank you, just one minute. <laughs> well... Let's keep going. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay.
Okay. First, tell me if you like it or no. Be honest. <laughs> hmm. It's very uh, gorgeous. <laughs> very gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so you liked it? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Was, <laughs> <I love it. laughs> yeah. Of course. Actually, it was a little different with its, you know, but, taste or style. Yeah. So maybe. Yes. Right. I'm not very sure. Modern. Of course. Yes. Uh, so tell me if you want to talk about maybe good or positive and negative aspects of actually the same architecture. What points can you mention? Good or bad. Of course. Aspect. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Okay, it's really it's uh, good. It's really a uh, good uh architect. Architecture. Architect. Archi uh, sorry. Uh, architecture. So it has uh, a really good architecture. Yeah. But it's not. Uh, it was not. But it's not. Not I must say. Maybe I I I, I cozy. Was, you mean? It's not. It was not a surprise me. Say. So it does. Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. This was this uh, was really good. Mm -hmm. Very good house. So it was but, modern. Yeah. The modern. Uh... But actually, it, as you know, it was something really new for you. Yes, so, new. of course, so it didn't surprise you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it just, so uh, sorry, bathroom it's just, uh, space. It's just... Green space. What do yes, you think? Green space. Green space. Ah, uh, I love more. Sorry, I love garden. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not, even though it has a large garden, but I love more green. Right? Mm -hmm. You like I green like spaces. Like green space yeah yeah of course and if you want to say something negative about it yeah negative hmm. uh i prefer uh Like a warm space. Mm -hmm. Of course. It's, not, it's too modern and yeah, too large. Of course. Uh, mm -hmm. you, maybe you, you feel it's not, uh, not mm -hmm. warm. But, you know, due to lots of windows, actually, yeah. uh, you know, you can consider overlook the garden. So you can see, yeah. you can, yeah, of course. So you overlook the garden or a green space. Yeah, overlook overlooked. green space, overlooked. of course. Green space. Yeah, yeah, of course. You can see it means, for example, you can see you know all green spaces, okay, or you you have green space view, something like this. Yeah. Okay, so I think that was good. Well, as I realized, you like a cozy place. You know, warm, cozy, cozy, wooden, of course. It means maybe really comfortable 
warm and Beautiful. somewhere yeah. like you know wooden you know so i think yeah. it's a little far from a uh, modern style well yeah. okay so you live in an apartment yeah you live in an apartment yes i'm living okay. in an apartment so yeah. and tell me uh if you if you want to change you know change your home and of course move to another new home uh will you move to another apartment or you'd rather a house uh, yes uh, I, I prefer a house a house mm -hmm. with a garden not an apartment Mm -hmm. of course so you like to have a house maybe with a big yard a house with uh, yeah a okay. house with garden yeah well so let me guess okay there are some uh photos okay and let me guess which one can be your favorite i think this one <laughs> this one is your favorite i think <laughs> 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 yeah yes or no okay mm. which one so the first one second one i think this is a i don't know a japanese style or something like this i'm not sure yes, of course yes, right. but i think yeah, yeah. Uh. and this one a modern but it's not really good i don't like it but this one is really good yeah. you know actually this is my taste good. <laughs> yes oh yeah 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 actually the different. second one second one is the same with yeah my room in japan ah that's great so yeah, that, that's really interesting so uh do you japanese live in the same actually rooms and uh, homes yes yeah. right ah, yes it's the same. yeah totally the same that's great it's a it's a, it's a, a traditional style mm -hmm. but uh nowadays many uh, japanese uh, doesn't like this time but uh mm -hmm. i i I love, I love it. Yeah. yeah very uh, traditional. Very yeah, it's, traditional. it's really, it's yeah. really interesting, but I think, you know, I don't know, it's a little weird. I don't know, you know sitting on the floor and it's just a little interesting, I think. Yeah. But yeah. I, I need to do, okay, well, apartment we have, of course, uh, nowadays are actually... I can say most of green spaces and green areas are replaced by apartments and due to yeah. overbuilding, of course, and living room. Okay, so let's talk about uh, an ideal living room. How is an ideal living room in your mind? Sorry again, how? How is, how is an ideal? How is an ideal living room? An ideal. Okay. I love uh, watching movie. Mm -hmm. So um, I love a uh, big screen of uh, TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah you like big yeah, screen. just big screen is, is okay you don't need to say off tv no you don't just big screen oh. and uh, and um i love uh a big dining room a big, big dining, dining room. room because yes you know uh at the uh, we do uh, many activities at the dining room. So just accept having meals. You know, you do some other activities in dining room. Dining room. Um. How say? Um. Mm, It's a it's a same it's, um say we do it in the same room. Okay, we, so we uh, we don't we don't uh, separate it. 
you don't separate dining and living room. Ah, oh, yes, right. Yeah, right. I got it. So you don't uh, yeah. separate, yeah, separate. It's a, okay. The same, uh, same room, the same room. Mm -hmm. So we don't of uh, separate. Of course, yeah. it's, it's normal, of course. Well, yeah. that's interesting. And uh, okay, yep. Uh, tell me, uh, let me change the photo. Okay, so bedroom. Okay. How many bedrooms should a, an ideal home have? How many? Ideal home. Of course, how many bedrooms? How many? Uh, okay, it's uh, enough uh, for your family. And mm. uh, just, uh, let's say, for guests. We we uh, have one. Uh, we we should have a vacant room mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. guests. Of one, course. One or two. Well, and of course, bathroom. I think the most bathroom. important, the most important part of the house yes, is really, really. Yeah, important. that is yeah. really important. Yeah. Of course, bathroom, and yeah, yeah kitchen. Okay, if you want to, if you want to move, uh, to a new house, do you prefer to have a fully fitted kitchen? So let me write it here. Fully fitted kitchen. Ah, uh, yes, of course, of course, of course. So because you yeah. don't need to actually have anything with yourself you know everything is ready so i think right. so do you yes, like to have right. a fully fitted kitchen so yes and okay so right. tell me how are houses in vietnam so when you for example i don't know when you want to rent somewhere you need to actually have your appliances with yourself or no you don't need actually uh houses furniture so everything is in the house is fully furniture okay so yeah big uh basically for uh, apartment it's the same with uh other countries mm -hmm. but it's really uh i say small the kitchen is uh small yeah it's, <laughs> it's too small yeah i got Still it small and tell yeah. me uh does it and have this... does it have any special reason you know because you don't cook a lot or something like this or no just this is a i don't know something like a part of or special architecture mm, um i'll say i don't think so but yeah Hmm. Let's say, uh, maybe, yeah. For example, in some countries, uh, of for, course. for for kitchen, mm -hmm. for kitchen, uh, yeah. let's say. Japanese house is uh, double or uh, third time bigger than Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it's because uh, uh, you don't spend lots of time on cooking or in the kitchen? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, but uh, the cost is really high. Uh, high. I got it. Yeah. You are you are in uh, Vietnam. You have to uh, import. Hmm. I got Most it. of them you have to import. So yeah. if you uh, build the same one with uh, America or Japan, you have hmm. to pay a oh, lot. I got it. Yeah. So uh, so so the cost is really high. high. I got it. Expensive. Yeah. Expensive to pricey. Yeah. Of yeah. course. I got it. Okay. And. Uh, the next part, balcony, of course, this we you know it's a I yeah. think essential balcony. part, balcony, of course. 
essential part of the house. We need, especially with a really maybe a uh, beautiful view of town, city, maybe sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, mountain is not bad. Sea. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's really, I love this garden. Oh, this is amazing okay. picture. Yeah. I like it. Of oh, course. Well, garden and okay. Well, now it's your turn to describe an imaginary house using all these words. Okay. For example, imagine you are living in a house and you want to describe it using all these words. Okay. Uh Okay. Okay, I'm uh, living in a uh, in an apartment in uh, Ho Chi Minh City. So, uh, because I live in Central Park, so uh, it's very uh. We don't have any uh, garden. Mm -hmm. Have any garden because uh, the the land is very small. But um, um, I also uh my apartment also have we have uh so tell me okay do you have a lobby a lobby what? yes so do you have the lobby, lobby? so you uh, have yes we have yes mm -hmm. we have I have a lobby mm -hmm. okay and now uh, I'm going to actually talk about some new words and then I will ask you if your apartment has or no. For example, the first word is clock room. Actually, this is a small room and I don't know, in a house or sometimes we have the same room in public places or public buildings that you can, for example, change your clothes you can, for example, put your coat. And of course, it has another uh, name that we say coat room. So coat room oh. or clock room. It means you can change your clothes. You clock can put room. your clothes. So it's a small room in a house or maybe in public buildings. Public buildings. So oh, do you have the yeah. same room uh, at home? Do you no. have? No, you don't. No, no. no. Okay. And uh, we have another room that is pantry. Pantry, pantry. no, no of pantry. Of course, no, no you don't have. Okay. And so tell me, uh, isn't it uh, actually common in Vietnam or no? You don't have. Pantry room. Um... For apartment, yeah, it's not. Uh, we we don't have pantry room, but uh, for for house maybe maybe some. Uh, of course, some of them. Of, of course. course, yeah, yeah. And uh, well, cellar, uh, cellar is something like you know, uh, a room, yeah, a basement room. maybe. Of course, it's basement or a room under the building or a house that often used to <laughs> actually storing to store things or for storing things so yeah of course it's something related to house not apartment okay. so yeah. cellar is the next word okay oh. now let me ask about actually the art the architecture of um, vietnamese houses so tell me do you have attic or do you use attic in your architecture 
automatic. Attic, of course. Sorry, what? Uh, sorry, Attic what, what is the actually is a small room at the toppest actually, you know, place, you know, uh, of house on the roof. You know, this is attic, something uh, like this. Let me show you something yeah, like yeah. this. This is attic. 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 Uh, this is attic. And okay. Normally, we use it to yeah. store things, of course. So, yeah. do you have something like this in Vietnam? Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay. So, yes. Very good. Attic. Attic, attic. attic of course. Well, and okay, and the last one, of course, it's not something really common, but it's not bad. We have the it's related to some luxurious, some actually expensive houses, you know, and uh, servants, servant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, we don't have something like the servants' quarters. <laughs> Actually, a section and a small room that servants can leave and sleep. So, of course, we don't yeah. have something like yeah. this, but it's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you know, it's it's a yeah. dream house. Of course, we can have it. Why yeah. not? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so. This is something, you know, really basic and really easy grammar here. Uh, there is, there are, of course, you know, for example, there are four rooms, four bedrooms in my house. So, you know, but, uh, you know, instead of there is and there are, okay, uh, so it's yeah. better to use some other items. Of course, uh, you know, for example, how to use there is and there are. But, for example, four bedrooms, for example, you know, or my house is made of, I don't know, wood. And, for example, you can find, okay, you can find, for example, four bedrooms or one bathroom. Okay, of course, yeah. Yeah. it's really easy to use there is and there are. Uh, you know, for singular, we use there is and for plural form, we use there are. Oh, so... Uh, yeah. I want you to do something before I keep going. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, just let me complete this part then. Okay. About any and many, of course. That is really easy. Let me clean the board. Okay. Erase this. Okay. Well, no and any. Okay. As you know, we use no and any to make a negative statements. But there is a difference between no and any. Of course, in my actually, normally when we're going to actually make a statement and we don't want to use auxiliary like don't, doesn't, it's better to use no. For example, I have no idea. I have no idea. It means yeah. I don't have don't any idea. Any. Okay. Yeah. So normally to make actually an affirmative or positive statement that mean as a negative statement, we is no. Okay. But after there, you know, any, we need, of course, you know, for any, we normally use plural form, okay? Ideas, uh, okay? Ideas. Of course, I don't have any ideas. Yeah. We normally use plural form, of course, if it's countable. But yeah. it's better to use no. I, I'd rather, you know, it's really hard to say. For example, I see no one here. It means I don't yeah. see anyone. Of course, you can say I don't yeah. see, but of course, why? And if you want to use any, of course, for question or interrogative, we definitely use any. So we don't use no in question. So 
Is there anyone here? Is there, is there anyone? anyone here? Is there anyone yeah. here? We don't say, is there no one? Yeah. So no is yeah. used in positive or actually affirmative statement to make a negative. Okay, for but yeah. for question we use any. And of course, if yeah. my noun is countable, I use plural. If it's not countable, of course, singular form. Well, now look at these statements. And of course, there are three bedrooms in my house. My house has three bedrooms. Yeah. Has That's, three bedrooms yeah. is not really, of course, is not really common. Of course, if you say it's correct, it's not incorrect, but it's better to not to use it. There are four people mm. in my family. My family has four people. For example, mm. uh, we don't say there are four people in my family. It's not good. We say four people, people. make up my family. Uh -huh. So make up is a better word. You know, we don't uh -huh. say there are four. For example, how many people are there in your family? There are four people. No, four people make up my family. Okay, uh -huh. so you say. Uh, and the last one, there are many foreign teachers in the school. And okay, the school has many. Of course, we use have, you know, you can. Hmm. But, you know, it's better to use have and has for actually... Uh, to talk about position about people you know for example yeah. i have something you know ownership or position related to people not things now uh you said uh the number of bathrooms that you have in your home did you say mm -hmm. One how many how are, many bedrooms? Okay. Bedroom. Uh, are you in my house now, correct? Right? Yeah. Yeah, two uh there are two bedrooms in my house. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Of course, there are two bedrooms. Oh. Okay, well. And now Okay, uh look, uh when we talk about we talk about ownership or position, of course we use have. I have a big yeah. house. I have a lot of money. Okay. Well, there yeah. is a big living room in my house. We don't say my house has a big living room. There are five people in my family. So of course you can use have and has in uh, actually order to uh talk about position or ownership but you know there is and there are when you want to talk about yeah. existence something that exists in somewhere mm -hmm. well okay read the advert for a house to rent and tell me do you want to rent it would you read it please a beautiful country house very quiet. Six bedrooms. Four bedrooms. Large garden. Five miles from the series center. Perfect family house. Low price. Hmm. Hmm. So do you wanna do you wanna rent it? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> yeah. It's good. yeah. <laughs> and it's really yeah. good, especially we have low price it's here. It's low really price. good. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I really liked it. And you know, it's in I know country saw you know, you know, country house, <laughs> but it's not uh, legal actually it's really quiet. Yeah. But you know, if you are used to, if you're used to living in I don't know, crowded cities or I don't know, populous places, it's it's a little hard, populate uh, you know, populated places, it's a little hard to live in countryside, yeah. you know? Yeah. So so which one do you prefer? Countryside or city center? Hmm. Mm. 
countries. Mm, okay, difficult. Countryside is good. Okay, but... prefer countryside. Countryside. Yeah, really. You know, you know. Yeah, in, in Japan, I live in uh, countryside, but in Vietnam, I live in uh, mm -hmm. central. I in think central of city. Yeah, I so think... uh, but uh, it's really uh, um, comfortable. Of comfortable. course, <laughs> I yeah. think at the first time, you know, as soon as possible, you will return to Japan. I think <laughs> you know, as soon yeah. as possible, you return <laughs> out first. So I yeah. think, yeah, because you I... actually used to leave as so a with a little yeah. hard to leave here now. Well. We have, uh, okay, some houses here, three, of course. Uh, which house would you like and why? So, and which one don't you like? Okay, just, I want to do something if I can find, okay. You mm. check this part while I'm finding something because I have actually... Uh, another book related to these three pictures i think we can have a listening section but tell me first of all you tell me which one do you prefer uh, the the left one 